Hello Pisces, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and here is your Pisces August Tarot reading. Now I hope you're all well. I thought I'd continue with a different style of reading again this month, along with the offer of a free personal reading as well, so please keep watching. I'm using two decks as always, the Spellcasting Oracle cards and they're by Flavia Kate Peters and Barbara Michael John Free, and that's a brand new deck. And the tarot deck that I'm using is the Shaman Caselli. Okay, so I have pulled a card for the overall energy as always, and then I'll pull a tarot card for each of the four weeks. And don't forget that free personal reading as well. So the card that I've pulled for you is Life Purpose. I love this card. As above, so below. It's beautiful. This card is a sign for you this month, Pisces, to let you know that a new venture awaits you. There is a shift in your energy, a shift in your spiritual awareness and a shift in your spiritual development. New guides, new angels, loved ones coming close spirit are guiding you and you need to look closely at the options and the opportunities that they open up for you because now is the time for you to stop playing it safe jump in with both feet embrace it what is the worst thing that can happen do not even think about that think of only the positives that will come out of it and I do sense a new spiritual experience for you this month that will blow you away. Look around the 17th of August for this to happen. And I think the key message is stop playing it safe. Embrace all that life has to offer. Okay, so let's see what guidance and inspiration we can get for Pisces from the tarot for August. Okay. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords, the High Priestess. There's your spiritual development. Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. And the card on the bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. Okay, so Pisces, the Queen of Swords. Well, this is either you, perhaps you're, uh, I feel like a bull in the china shop. I think you need to be careful with the things that you say this month. Um, because I think you could easily hurt someone's feelings. If this isn't you, then someone could easily hurt your feelings with the spoken word. Um, I feel as though you're cut through any grey areas and it's almost as though what's coming is brighter skies because I feel that you need to clear a pathway to let spirit in. Um, I do think... <laughs> I do feel that there's this new venture, an exciting venture, and I do feel there's new energy coming in for you. And I feel that's going to happen in the second week when we've got the High Priestess. The High Priestess is is the clairvoyant. Is um, She uses her intuition. She works with moon energy. She is the keeper of secrets. So I do feel that your awareness spiritually, clairvoyantly, is going to change it's almost as though um there's an exciting shift in energy spiritually for you but whatever situations that are going on around you in that second week think about the inspiration that spirit gives to you as well because you need to trust your gut instinct i'm going to pull another card for the high priestess to see what area that is involved with and we have the six of wands You will be triumphant. You will succeed in whatever it is that you're trying to uh, sort out or 
uh, get on top of, whether that's a, a move, a house move, a job move, um, you will be successful. The very successful reading in, in its entirety for you, Pisces, because as you go through August, there's new seeds to be planted um, midway. So that shift of energy is going to bring in a new idea as well, new passion, uh, new determination. It's almost as though you've got to plant those seeds. By the end, from where you are here right now, which with the ace is a number one, you get to a 10 at the end of August. So it's almost as though things are going to really take off in the second half of the month. Um, it's quite exciting. I'm quite excited for you. Now we have the page of cups across your life purpose. So this does tell me that this is linked to a relationship as well. Um, and there, Or there could be a new beginning within a relationship. That means a new relationship or a shifting in energy in the relationship that you already have. We have the salmon in the cup with the um, page of cups. And the salmon will always find a way back home. So no matter what the obstacles that come up this month, and there will be some, there will be some obstacles. There will be things that will test you. It's almost as though you'll, you'll leap over them. I'm getting the word leap. You'll be leaping over these situations because it's something that you want so badly. Know that you will be successful. Know that it will happen. Know that by the end of this month, there is going to be a shift in your finances as well. Okay, I want one more card for you, Pisces, because I want to. No other reason. Okay. And the card we have is the Three of Cups. Again, it's celebrating. You will be celebrating. That There is nothing else to say other than you will be celebrating. Um... Yeah, you'll be celebrating with others and I do feel that you need to stop playing it safe to allow that celebration to happen. Yeah, stop playing it safe is the key that I'm getting for you for August. Well, Pisces, I hope your August is amazing. Let me know if you have this shift in energy. Let me know if you have um, this new adventure that that's awaiting you um let me know how it goes also as i promised the offer of a free personal reading your full date of birth and yes please in the comments and i will read for those that i feel drawn to also you can read win a free personal reading with me pop over to my website the spiritualcenter.net and um, subscribe to our newsletter and you could be in for the chance of a free personal reading every month as well. We're also offering spiritual development classes and experiences. Next week, we have the Crystal Energy Grid. It's going to be an amazing experience. It's an hour experience online via Zoom. So if you fancy taking part in that, again, let us know. OK, bless you all for watching. I hope you have a lovely August.